Hi everyone, welcome to yet another time with me. Forgive my appearance, no makeup today, just take me as I am. And I know I just wanted to just get this out of the way because if I do <laughs> all the things that I usually do before I shoot a video, I may not be able to meet up. Today we'll be reviewing a 2022 Nigerian movie known as Anekolapo. It is a spanky new movie. I just said to jump on it so that um, I don't just leave things hanging and then next week I'll review it and then everyone has seen it and then it's boring. Now, Anikula Po was directed by Kunle Afolayo, the one and only Kunle Afolayo, who was the director in Citation, the award-winning movie. Now, Anikula Po has notable actors and actresses like Kunle Remy, Bimbo Ademoye, Akim K. Kazim, uh, Sola Sobowale, Taiwo Asan, and other actors too numerous to mention. It, it was star studded okay? Now, Anikula Po is a Yoruba movie subtitled in English that brings out the rich Yoruba culture. I especially liked you know, I have deep respect for Kunle Afolayo because Kunle Afolayo knows if he wants to give you um, a setting of the 1970s, he's able to pull it off. Uh, there was this movie that he projected Nigeria in the 1980s. Um, I'm going to put the name on the screen. He was able to pull that off effortlessly. And so um, I wasn't expecting anything less from him in Anikulapo. Now, Anikulapo is a Yoruba movie set in the 1700s. And um, it, it is based on a folklore. Now, this story is about Kunle Remy. Now, Kunle Remy playing the character of Saro. Saro is... Um, and um, I wore if if he weaver so this um, ashoke yeah weave you know he weaves all this ashoke material so he has come from a very far place to Oyo is trying to make ends meet like you know look for where as it was in the old look for where you know how to begin his business again buy new materials or see new prospects in them. You know, grow. So, um, in the 1700s and in the old, in the old in days of old, people would move from where they're from and move to another place. But what I loved about this movie was the way they projected it. Kind of like reminded me of um, the gods are not to blame, but in another way. Yeah, gods are not to blame of um, Rotimi. Williams. It was an amazing, amazing, super amazing movie and story. And where we see Sola Sobowale is um, a rich woman, well-to-do, an accomplished woman, distinguished, who, you know, has a business and employs people. She will pay, she will feed them. And, um, you know, all of that. And she was also one of the king's advisors as well. She was a big trader. Now, Kunle Remy came to this Oyo and um, he's there. And he meets Sola Subowale and they start, um, she helps him out. And once he leads to the other, he, both of them start having an affair together. Now, Kunle Remy feels territorial when he sees... Um, Sola Sobowale having the same thing with Kunle Abafoloyan. Okay. I think it was this actor. He's not necessarily an actor. He's um, 
is a comedian. He pulls Kunle aside and tells Kunle, see, this is how she is. This is how Sula, uh, Sula Sobowale is. She left her husband's house. She has slept with all the men that she has employed and she treats them like slaves and all that. And Kunle Remy is upset. He's also upset with Sula Sobowale and one, you know, he feels betrayed and all of that. Now we have the one and only Bimbo Ademoye. Bimbo Ademoye is the youngest and most favored wife of the king of Oyo, the Alalafi of Oyo. And, um, you know, she's dissatisfied. She feels she's too young to marry the king. And the king is besotted with her. And she's not having it easy with the king's other wives. And they make her life, you know, miserable. Add that to the fact that she had no child of her own. And so it wasn't a, a walk in the park. She was generally dissatisfied. But one thing led to the other. When Kunle Remy was intro you know, introduced by Sola Sobowale, um, you know, to the king and his wives for as a dressmaker, he entered the palace and that was where he met um, Bimbo Ademoye. And, um, you know, so many things ensued after, you know, after that. They started, um, you know, creeping in and out and all that till they got discovered by the princess. Now, everything that happened in that movie was painstakingly done was painstakingly carried out. Uh, <laughs> there was this scene in the in the forest where they where Kunle Remy and Bimbo Ademoye always meet for their little one and one um, before they graduated to Kunle's house. Now there was this smoke. They tried to do this smoke thing and I didn't understand why that smoke thing was there. It would have been honestly perfect if they did not add that smoke thing that you usually see when a place is dark in the forest and some, you know, in some movies they try to, you know, blow the one kind of smoke or something. It didn't really make sense to me. That's like an aside, okay? This is like me trying to be, okay, I'm just being picky. But other than that, it was perfect. I loved the use of the cal of the calories when, um, you know, they were, they were buying things in the market. It was amazing. The use of, of cowries made it, you know, it buttressed everything that I was expecting in a movie that is set around um, the 1700s. We'll move forward to when Kunle Remy and uh, Bimba Ademoye, you know, when they were discovered and um, how Kunle was beaten to death, you know, before the horrified eyes of Bimbo Ademoye and how they struggled through. I loved the, although the, the effects of the, I think is the, I don't think is the Ifa, Ifa bird. No, it's another bird. You know, when it came to take the soul or, I don't know, of, of Kunle Remy, the way they did it, they've not perfected the art properly, but, you know, it's several steps away from what we're used to in Nollywood. So I would applaud them in that. Now, moving forward, I loved the planes, you know, the, you know, rocky planes of, um, I don't know where they used, maybe all those rocky planes at Ekiti and all that. But, you know, it was wonderful. The settings, the locations that were used were amazing. They went down, you know. <laughs> Kule Remy was amazingly excellent in this movie. This Anikulakbo, this Anikulakbo, you know, must be an award-winning movie because it was perfect. I don't have anything to say. You've been hearing the things that I've been saying are, you know, problems. They're not necessarily problems because Kunle Afolayo did his homework. He did his homework and he brought out the best in the various actors and actresses. I loved the presence of Hakim K. Kazim. I think that's his name. He <laughs> was a different feel, you know. I wasn't expecting to see him. I'm always seeing him in international movies. So to see him in this Nollywood movie was 
ah, amazing. And he kept it up throughout that he was playing the king, the role of a king that does not talk. So when Kunle Remy and Bimbo Ademoye braved it all, they suffered, moved through several rivers and seven oceans, you know how they say all those things that you see in the olden days, and they moved to this new place. One would expect that, you know, and also what Bimbo Ademoye expected, that they would live happily ever after. But it wasn't that way because Kunle Remy as a man was a vain man, was a very, very vain man who would always forget his humble beginnings, who would always forget. I moved, you know, I moved with the emotions of Bimba Demoye. For me, she even managed, she, she tried to, you know, have stayed with him for so many years while he misbehaved. You know, you will see the, the, the downfall of Kunle Remy was women. And he was so slow. He thought he had everything. And at the end of the day, <laughs> he, he had a chance. He died the first time. He, get, he, got, he got a second chance. A second chance with a lot of splendor. And then he misbehaved again. And then he died again. And so how was he going to get saved? And Nicola Paul is a movie that everyone, irrespective of their understanding, can watch. Understanding in the sense of understanding of culture, can see and be satisfied. And Nicola Paul projected that Yoruba culture, Yoruba artistry, Yoruba, um, you know, projection of their of the adages that they use, the idioms, the proverbs, you know, it was painful, it was, it was wonderful. And then the, you know, adding of the tradition, the use of people that would understand the tradition to, you know, be able to bring it out was something that was amazing. And you would see that a lot of research, a lot of practice, a lot of work was put into this movie that made it such a brilliant movie. Uh, in terms of in terms of um, cinematography, everything was perfect. You will see even the scenes that were shot at night were amazing. You would not really strain your eyes to see what was going on, even in the dead of the night. You would know, you would see it was that brilliant. You know, the sound was awesome. The effects in the movie were great. I won't say they were 100%, but they were great, okay? And the story, the plot, more like what I said in um, a few of my reviews, for Nigerian movies, I don't really I don't really look at the plot. I just say, okay, let me see the input of each and every um, actor and actress. I would, which... That's how I review most of the movies, most of um, Nollywood movies that I bring up here. But with Anikola Akbo, the story was tight. The plot, yeah, was tight, you know. And then the actors and actresses aside, when you're grading the movie, the plot, you're grading the actors and the actresses, the directing, the, 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 produ the, the producing, the production, the script writing, everything was in sync in this movie. And I will be rating this movie a 10 over 10. This is perhaps very few, very few of Nigerian movies have I rated a 10 over 10 you know notwithstanding the one or two flaws that were at best very trivial this movie deserves a 10 over 10 which brings me to the end of this movie review and Nicola Paul I don't have what much to say because if I begin to talk about a Nicola Paul it made an impression I think I, this is a movie I would see again and again I would see just to Make her find fault for inside. That is the only that you know. This movie is too good to be true. I need to see that movie again. Let me see. Was there something I missed? I need to go back and see this movie. This is a movie that I would love to see again and again and again because this movie projected the rich culture in Nigeria. Forget you know the Yoruba culture. Yes, the rich culture in Nigeria. The rich Yoruba culture. The richness and brilliance you know of our tradition. This movie is an epic movie this movie was amazing 
Okay, so which brings me to the end of this review. Up there you see my Korean movie review, my Nigerian movie review, my Chinese movie review, and then again my movie reviews. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new movies come your way. Sorry about my appearance once again. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just forget that one. Okay, bye.